All right, guys, quick connect fittings to hook up the grill to the Hell's Propane. Let's check this out. All right, guys, before we get too far into this video, just want to let you know that working with propane can be very dangerous. You have to know what you're doing here. This is what I'm doing. If you try to do this, you're at your own risk for injury, loss of life, and so forth. Just want to make sure that's covered before we get going. A few months back, I went ahead and put quick connect fittings into our health propane setup here. This is for our generator, but I also want to be able to run other appliances like our grill. All right, guys, so I have my Weber Spirit E310. Awesome grill, it's a couple years old, it's in great shape. We take care of it, it takes care of us. So inside this grill here, I'm gonna go ahead and install quick connect fittings in between the propane tank and the grass grill fittings. So this is gonna allow me to use the propane tank when I want to use it, and also hook up the gas grill to the health propane. I'm gonna go ahead and use Mr. Heater propane quick connect fittings. These are 3 8 Also have a set of 3 8 flare fittings to 3 8 MPT fittings. Also have a quick connect hose here, male fitting, 3 8 flare. This also comes with the female quick connect right here. And these are gonna connect together from one of those adapters, 3 8 MPT to 3 8 flare. All right guys, so I've gone ahead and disconnected the propane tank and unattached this from the side of the grill. Go ahead and taken off that connection that goes to the propane tank. This leaves us with a 3 8 flare. So 3 8 male flare, we're gonna connect on to a 3 8 swivel. And then 3 8 swivel, we're gonna use one of these adapters. Flare to 3 8 MPT. All right, and then we're gonna go MPT down here into our male quick connect. I wanna use a propane tank. What I'm going to do is, obviously this will connect in the way it usually does. And then on this side, we're using the female connection. So these will just go together when they actually connect. Now when we come off the health propane, we don't need the small regular because it's already going through a regular inside 11 inches of water column. So we're all set there, but we do need the small regular when we use the propane tank. So with best of both worlds here, if I want the grill to be portable, I can go ahead and use the propane tank through the quick connect. If I want to hook up to the house, we just go ahead and we plug in without the small regulator. All right, so let me go ahead and tighten these up off camera, use appropriate sealant where necessary, go ahead and do my soapy water test and we should be good to go. All right guys, soapy water test is done here. Everything's looking good. Running grill right now all the burners on high not a lot of fuel left in that propane tank it's almost empty if I run the grill more off the hill so probably keep that tank in there to help weigh down the grill let's go ahead and hook it up to the hell's propane over here all right let's go ahead and light this up off the hell's propane Nice. So I have my line running out front right now. There is actually a place where you can run the gas line to the back. The hole right there. Put it right back through there. All right, time to put the quick connect fitting back in. Screw it back into the side of the grill. All right, guys, thanks for checking out this video. I'm psyched about this project. It went really well. Now we have the ability to run off the gas bottle or the house propane. Just want to emphasize that propane can be very dangerous. Always follow the rules and consult a professional. Thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit that notification bell, and come on back for a visit and have a great day.